This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross the chat. I'm going to start this off with the American dream, Heather B. All right, I have it for it. The American dream is to always to live better uh, for yourself, your family, live a quality life, yeah. doing what you got to do to get there. Whatever that is, sometimes you got to do stuff you don't want to do. I remember I had to pick up throw up when I was doing dishes at a Creole restaurant in Hayward. Mm -hmm. Coming up in the game, trying to get in the rap game. People were throwing up, and the, the boss would make me pick up the throw up. Damn. Uh, how bad was what the food? The <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a bar. They was throwing up because of the, the uh, drinking, uh, you know. Hey, but you know what? I, it was learnable. You know, I learned something about that work ethic. It made me appreciate things as it started to grow. Some people, you know, they got to work. They, you know, they might go into stripping or something. And then sometimes people might cast judgment on them because they had to do what they had to do to get to where they had to go. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, uh, find different ways to break into the music business. And then initially they don't maybe get the respect they deserve because folks ain't familiar with their journey. The American dream enables us all to work hard to better and evolve ourselves. And when you look at our next guest story, I think that's what we're witnessing. The American dream coming to fruition. Because when I first met this young lady, um, she was kind of soft spoken. You know, seemed like, well, at least with me, you know, <laughs> it's kind of to herself, really sweet. And now she's become the queen of the Twitterverse, ladies and gentlemen, AKA mother. <laughs> A.K.A. the one and only Amber Rose is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What is mother? <laughs> um, mother is um is mother is mother. I'm v like mother to everyone, mother to my rosebuds. I'm very maternal. I'm very, you know, if people come to me with their problems and questions and. Um, and so we say mother on the East Coast. You know that. Mother, mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. M-U-V-A. Yes. And the reason why I know it's spelled that way, because I was at home this weekend and I was driving through my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I don't give the street I live on, but I live off of <laughs> Reseda and, uh, in the valley, city of Tarzana. Do you live yeah. next to me? L let me tell you how what? close Wait. I am. I'm not going to give the actual street. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yo, I was I passed by your home, <laughs> and the only reason why I knew it was your home because of certain things that sit outside. Uh huh. And I was like, "Is that the mother?" And so I said, "Nah, hold up." So my I, new crib, Sway. Yeah, my I new know. Crib. Yo, that new motherfucker is banging. Hey. Thank you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and, and as I was looking at your home, because I live literally, you could walk the distance. We I, coming over. You got to come over. Yeah, and then, and I bring was, Bash. I was going to bring, that's what I was thinking. I got, you know, he, he'll have fun. I got um, my nephew and niece stay in my home in, in that city. He would have fun. That is amazing. The, the, the pool and all I've that I've been stuff. looking for, like, friends for him around the neighborhood. Uh, and Or y'all can come over to my house. I got, like. Aw. Well, you know, you got a beautiful home, by the way. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And, and, and I was looking at your home thinking, damn, man, I remember sitting on the couch, uh, on Rap Fix on yes. MTV years ago, and you were going through a whole bunch of backlash. Mm -hmm. and, and let me play back what you sounded like back then real quick. So nobody really knows my side of the story. No one knows what I've been through and the things that I had to deal with when, you know, Kanye made his album, mm -hmm. and he talked reckless about me on his album. And then, you know, I have people throwing things at me in the street because they're fans of Kanye's. Take your time, take your time. I'm just crying because I don't deserve to be bullied like that. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice girl, I don't bother anybody, and I keep my mouth shut because I don't want any trouble. Mm -hmm. But to be bullied through music and through stuff like that, it's not fair to me, I don't deserve that. There it is. Amber Rose, you remember those days? I, I remember it like it was yesterday. Who was that person then compared to who you are now, would you say? Um, you know, Sway, let, I, let me just give you a little background, okay? okay? Um, when, I, when, I, when the world got to know me, mm -hmm. right, um, I didn't ask for it. I didn't try to be famous, right? And um, it just kind of happened based off my look alone. And then the world was like, 
bitch, you're only famous because Kanye made you famous. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, I didn't ask for that. That's not my fault. I just dated a guy that was famous. I didn't say like, hey, I'm going to date him and then I'm going to become famous. People kind of just looked to me as like, wow, I like her haircut Mm -hmm. and her shades. Like she looks cool. And I developed a fan base off of that alone because I didn't say shit for two years because I was so disconnected from celebrity and fame. um, I didn't want it. So what happened was I was constantly getting ridiculed for being famous for no reason, which was out of my hands. Yeah. I would walk outside yeah. and be famous, and I'm like, why are you taking pictures of me, paparazzi? I don't know. I don't even say anything to you guys. I I'm I don't do nothing. So um, what happened after that was like, I really don't want this life. I didn't ask for this life. I don't fucking want it. Mm-hmm. And then I realized that it was not going away at all um and then i'm like you know what i started getting stronger and stronger that was around that time when i did rap fix i was just like man i don't deserve getting bullied one i didn't ask for it two it's just like i'm getting bullied by one of the most famous people in the world and i feel like i don't even have a voice i don't even have an outlet to say anything Uh to defend myself and everyone is against me like I did something wrong Yeah. when I literally just fell in love with a famous guy and really didn't ask for anything more or less. Um, so when I realized that I, my fame wasn't going away and then I, yeah, I, I met Wiz and fell deeply in love with him and then we got a divorce, Yeah. I was just like, man, you know what? God does everything for a reason. Mm-hmm. And this is now my time where I can say and do exactly what I want how I feel about things, follow my passion, and really don't give a fuck anymore. And when I stopped giving a fuck, that's when I was truly enlightened. And I was like, wow, I'm living my life to the full potential now. Yeah. I really can say whatever I want, and I have no skeletons in my closet. Mm-hmm. I don't hide behind anything, not even hair. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I just, I it was my time to shine, and the, this is my year mm-hmm. where... I'm not taking no shit from nobody. Keep my name out your mouth. I'm not a troublemaker. I won't start no trouble with you. Let me just be me and let me just be great. Mm. Shit. Can't Amber be Rose. Mad at that. That's the interview right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> she got the new Amber Rose show premiering tonight at 11 p.m. on VH1. Um, yeah, I, I felt like you embraced your 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 new reality, um, and and I've been enjoying it. You know, I didn't know what the slut walk was going to be about. Mm-hmm. You know, I just knew if I was, I wish I was single so I could have just been in the crowd picking up a lot of activity. You know what? <laughs> Still support, Sway. Home, Sway. Can I, not, can I, can I say something that's truly amazing? So yeah. I was talking to my dear friend, French Montana, yeah. the other night. Yeah. Um, Isn't he so cool? He's I like the French. coolest guy ever. Yeah. So he, so he's in Dominican Republic shooting a video with Drake and he, he hits me. He's like, yo, mother, call me. So I call him and I'm like, yo, what's up? Cause like we don't like we text or like he'll FaceTime me and be like, Mama, I'm fucked mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. But um it's never like, yo, call me. So I felt like the urgency in that text and I call him and he's like, he's like, I just want to tell you that I love you so much wow. and you're like my sister. And I feel like it's really unfortunate that no men have your back when it comes to your slut walk because I have a mother mm-hmm. and I have women in my family and I love everything that you're doing. So I want to donate a percentage of the proceeds from my album, Mac and Cheese 4, to wow. your slut walk. Wow. Really? Yes. That's huge. Wow. Yeah. Damn. French Montana. Yeah. And that's an interesting way of looking. I'm joking about the whole being no, in the No, I, I know. Because I, yeah, I, um, uh, I have a daughter. Yeah. You know, who's mm-hmm. very empowered. And a lot of, a lot of uh, young girls really reacted um, to you coming out for it and, put, and putting yourself on the line like that mm-hmm. and, and bringing attention. You're an activist. Yeah. Now, yeah, you know, absolutely. Um, and uh, and you're powerful. Your voice is powerful. Um, and I, I I follow you on Twitter and and even when I don't think you got to worry about being bullied anymore because I think you probably uh launched the most lethal um, hashtag ever in, in in Twitter history with the, <laughs> the finger in the booty ass thing. Bitch. You know that was that was, but that was necessary for you to do. It was very I, necessary. Why? I that? mean, if you if it, you know. It wasn't about 
being true or not true. I will not comment on if it is or not. But <laughs> it was more about emasculating him. Mm-hmm. I know how egotistical he is. Everybody does. It's not really a secret. But that was my main goal because I constantly got bullied and I cried about it yeah. on rap fix and I was weak about it. And um, and I went through those emotions. And then it's just like, even even during that process, he was like, Wiz, you let a stripper trap you. Yeah. And you let a stripper have you for 18 years. Still didn't say nothing. I'm like, yo, that's between two grown men. Mm-hmm. I might even, because I know Wiz got my back. But then he said something about my kid. And I said, oh, no, wait, hold on now. See, that's that's where you done went wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he knows that. He definitely knows that. Did he apologize to you? He did not apologize to me. And that's like, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So like, I've had a conversation with Kim and I'm just like, you know, going on the radio and say, man, you know what I said about day kid and shit. I'm sorry, man. I need, I'm his mother. Mm-hmm. You've done too much. You've said too much. And this is my baby. And, and the fucked up thing about the whole thing, Sway, is that like, I'm not even that girl. Yeah. Like, like I didn't feel like I had a victory after I posted that. I actually felt bad. Um, because I have a very compassionate heart. That's who I am as a person. So I didn't feel like, yeah, I finally got him. I kind of felt like, why did you push me to that point? Yeah. Why? I didn't want to have to do that to you. I didn't want to do that. Mm-hmm. You made me do that. Constantly picking and pointing, you know? Mm. Um, so I didn't I didn't feel good about it afterwards. Um, and that's what's unfortunate about Amber's the clapback queen. It's like, I don't want to be known for that because I'm not that girl. Mm-hmm. Um, I only defend myself when I need to. Other than that, man, I'm chill. I don't bother nobody. That's true. So, yeah. you know, um, it was just all, like, fucked up. And I was just like, man, I just want to be done with it. Like, I just... Don't talk about me. I won't talk about you. I wish y'all the best of luck. It's been seven years. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a you long know? ass time. And it's just yeah. like, bro, leave me alone. Like, it's yeah. cool. Like, just let it be what it is. Did you find that, um, Kim and you um, speaking on the phone, you find that y'all had a lot in common at all? Or it was it just merely because of what happened? No, I feel like um, I like him. Yeah. I really like her. I think she's a great girl. Um. I feel like there was a lot of miscommunication throughout the years. It was a lot of like people on the internet saying, well, Kim said this and Amber said this. And it was really things that we never said, Mm -hmm. but we never, we never talked to each other. So it was just like, we kind of had an attitude towards each other. Cause it was like, damn, this bitch talking about me and she's talking about me, but it really wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we hashed that out, which is really cool. Um, and, and it was just that simple. It was just that simple. Yeah. A- Amber Rose is here. She has a new TV show. Oh. Got your own show now. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I put you on my couch. I know I get to be a guest on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I, I'm, I'm proud of you, though. Thank Congratulations. Thank you so much. Tonight at 11 p.m. on VH. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not tonight? It is not. So, listen, it was well, tonight. So, oh, it, okay. it was tonight, but we pushed it back to July 8th. Okay. Um, at 11 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And if you don't mind, I, I hope we have some more time for Go me for to talk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to tell you what my show is about. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. You're here. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> my show is um, my show is very sex positive. And if you don't know what sex positive means, that means it's, it, it is a complete no judgment zone, right? So we encourage our audience to chime in um, and, and ask us very... Uh, explicit or not explicit sexual uh, and relationship questions Mm -hmm. Um, I also interview celebrities as well I ask them you know very intimate questions about their lives like give me an example ask me a question like give me an example of a question Um, I guess I would kind of start out um, are you single no you're not single no I've been in a relationship for a couple years for a couple years yeah um, how do you feel, how would you feel if your girlfriend said, you know, I love you, but I was kind of thinking about if maybe we can bring another guy in. <laughs> Shit. So his face changed so fast. Sometimes, because I thought she was going to say girl, but when you said guy. Fuck out of here. Yeah. That's what we do on the Amber then, Rose show. We, okay, damn. We shock. You know what, Amber, that's crazy you brought this up, because we were talking about this this morning. So I have a question for you. Sure. Would you date someone... If they told you they were HIV positive, 
Um, you know, I wouldn't. Um, because I would appreciate their honesty. Yeah, yeah. Um, I personally wouldn't because uh, well, I'm a mom now as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I like to be with someone that I trust fully. Um, I don't really like condoms irritate me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, like most women most mm -hmm, women are allergic mm -hmm, to condoms mm -hmm. um, I do like to eventually get to the point where I feel safe and we both got tested um, to raw dog mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> you know real. to the uh -huh. point but um, <laughs> yeah um, but no so I wouldn't you appreciate the honesty but no and advice. I want to have children you know more children so no, okay. no. We brought uh, Tracy brought up the Charlie Sheen story, so that's it, you know you just brought up open and no judgment, so that's why. I asked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so the show, in, in, are you doing skits? Are you? Uh, yeah, I um, I'm I'm doing comedy skits, uh -huh. which is really cool. Um, I'm uh, what's another? Oh, so we're talking about uh, celebrity gossip, internet gossip, uh -huh. right? But because I am a celebrity and I'm not disconnected from that world, I did bring a different perspective to it where as though like most media outlets would say, Hey, Taylor Swift is with another guy like this week. And she just broke up with Calvin oh, Harris. Yes. I would probably say like, you don't know if Calvin Harris cheated on her like a year ago. Yeah. And then they finally broke up and she's just like, man, you know what? On to the next. Uh -huh. They try to make her look like, you know, the slutty one mm -hmm. in the situation. Cause it's just been a week and she's already holding hands with another guy. So, I kind of talk about it in a different way. Yeah, it's a whole different lens you take. Mm -hmm. it a whole different lens, man, because yeah. I kind of been there. Yeah. Um, not necessarily in that situation, but in other situations where I look like something, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Maybe I won't go to your show though. I'll put no, it it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of fun, yeah. and it's a cable show, so mm -hmm. it's we get to curse, we get to say whatever we want, mm -hmm. and then also, um, the radio show Love Line. Yes. I am now the new host of Loveline. Wow. CBS Radio. Yeah. Wow. Congrats. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, <laughs> it's her year. Who's Thank producing you. the Amber Rose show? Who's the EP? Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, right? Yeah. So you're cool with Dr. Phil. That's the doc, man. That's the doc. <laughs> you know what's so cool about me and Dr. Phil is that, like, so I did a segment about slut shaming on the doctors, which is mm -hmm. under Dr. Phil. And, um, you know, he kind of just seen the segment and was like, it, th these are his words. He said, well, goddamn, the camera loves you, Amber. Wow. You need your own show. And I was like, fuck yeah, I need my own show. Like, especially on the Dr. Phil, like, I need my own show. And so, like, it's been a year and a half that I've been working on this show. And the cool thing about it is that, like, Oprah co-signed him. And now mm -hmm. he's co-signing me. Wow. Which is huge, you mm -hmm. know? And him and his son, Jay McGraw, like, they have my back 100%. They've helped me through the past year and a half become you know, a professional talk show host. And it's truly amazing that I his team has been with him for like 20 years and now they're my team. So wow. I'm working with the best people in the business uh -huh. to make sure that not only do I do it right, but that we have a hit show and it's entertaining and it's fun. I'm already hearing it in you right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yo, it's fun interviewing you. You just throw a crumb out. You give a, you bring us back a cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? Wow. Amber Rose is here. So we came up with something real quick. I know okay. you got to go. Um, and next way, I never have to go. When it comes to you, I never have to go, babe. Oh, okay. Well, great. Um, so how is your son doing? <laughs> he's, he's, how old is he now? He's three. He's three? Yeah. Okay. My, nep <clears throat> nep my nephew might be a little older, but my niece is uh, around six. You know, That's so cool. You know, Bash is very mature. He just likes to hang out. Yeah, and yeah. he's very articulate. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can like have full conversations with with the old heads, mm -hmm. six and seven year olds, and okay. you know, yeah, he's <laughs> the with old it. Heads. <laughs> the elderly singers, the elderly the, the kids. senior kids. Um, <laughs> this is exciting. Um, are you a little bit nervous about having your own show? No, not anymore. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I got it. Yeah, if I if I would have done it a year and a half ago, initially when mm -hmm. we first shot the pilot, I would have been nervous. Mm -hmm. But um, I got it, and Doctor feels like, you know, just him having my back just puts me at ease. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. What do you think has been one of your greatest victories? You've had a few um, <clears throat> in the past couple of years, in the past mm -hmm. two years. What would you consider? Wow, 
I did that. I pulled that off moment. Um, I would definitely say my book. Mm -hmm. Um, it took me a year to write my book and it was very successful. My emojis took six months and they were extremely successful. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my talk show just constantly, um, working on it every day and practicing and reading the teleprompter, which is really fucking hard. It's not easy. It's really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, Hey, welcome to the Amber Rose show. Uh, and you kind of like start reading like, oh, my God, it's moving too fast. I don't know. <laughs> but then you kind of, you know, just get in the swing of it. And you're like, hey, welcome to the Amber Bro Show. Woo, we're going to talk about blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, um, so all of those. I mean, everything that I've done um, business wise. Mm -hmm. And um, I pride myself on being an amazing mom. You yeah. know, um, I, I'm like I teach my son. I talk to my son. Uh, like an adult, mm -hmm. um, and that's why he's so articulate, and he can, he can, he can, he knows words that it I, it literally shocks people mm -hmm. when he speaks. He's that smart. He's that. It's, he's gonna blow your mind okay, when you meet him. I can't wait. Um, so what about so with all these things happening? I'm, I'm assuming you don't have much time for a personal like uh, a, a relationship. I really don't. I'll okay. be honest with you. I really don't. Um, you know, my lawyer Walter Mosley is here, and he he always says. Everybody wants to date Amber until they actually date Amber, you know? And it's always like, oh, Amber, you know, I want to take you out on a date, girl. You know, I'm going to treat you right. I'm going to do this. And then it's like, hey, yo, can you fly out tomorrow? And I'm like, man, I got employees, man. I got yes. a show. I got fucking shit to do. I got a kid. I can't. I'm not convenient. Mm -hmm. Um, So, like, that's what makes it hard for me. And it's just my time to work, man. If you can't deal with it, then, like. You can maybe be my fuck buddy when you come in town, but mm -hmm. like other than that, it's like I can't, I can't give you all of me. Mm. That makes sense. Hold up, man! I have to take a breather for that. You could maybe <laughs> hold up, hold up, yeah, hold up, man! Let that moment breathe. Every guy in the, in here crossed their legs and crushed and clutched their jewels when you said, "Maybe you could be my fuck buddy when you come to town." I mean, that's yeah. just how no, I, no, I, no, I that's can't. That's how y'all think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true yeah that's why we you know we're all <laughs> applauding here like yeah that's well what I, I mean mean, listen <laughs> that's slut walk man that's like anything a guy could do i can do too yeah you well know? well do you have a rotation guys have a rotation um i i i don't have a rotation of guys that i sleep with but i i have had a rotation of like dating guys like getting to know guys okay yeah but, not, but you you go once you don't sleep with more multiple um people. i'm a very selfish lover so okay. like i just feel like if you're sleeping with me and i'm sleeping with you then that's just what it should be and then if you want to do something else and we're not in a committed relationship give me the respect to just let me know mm. that's all amber that's what's your take on like um emotional awareness because i'm all about <laughs> sexual empowerment yeah but then there might be some girls who are cool of letting their panties drop Mm -hmm. But they'll still like wave, you know, the slut flag really high, but don't realize they're damaging themselves more. Why are they damaging themselves? What do you mean? Well, depending on if they're really having sex from a clear understanding of why and not from just doing it for male attention, for validation. Mm, got it. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say um, I would say that if you want to have sex, you should have sex and protect yourself. Right. Um. You know, if you if someone comes to you like a friend or a family member and says, hey, you know, maybe you're not doing this for the right reasons. Um, either, you know, you were molested or went through some some type of trauma or something like that. Um, take that advice and maybe try to get some help and understand why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's just a woman that actually just likes sex, right. um, she should do it, protect herself and most importantly, have fun. Okay, Amber Rose is here. Um, the new show, the Amber Rose Show, is coming up July 8th mm -hmm. on VH1. 11 o'clock p.m. 11 p.m. Yeah, Easter. Uh, DB prepared a really interesting game for you before you go. Okay. And it's called Battle of the Baddest Bitches. There it is. Okay, you're rich, you're famous, and you're probably pretty good at what you do. I'm going to show you how great I am. But we want to know who you would pick between the greatest matchups of all time. It's the battle of the best on Sway in the morning. That boy's good. All right, here you go. You might want to use this segment, too, for your show, too. Go ahead. <laughs> we, we put Do a couple bad bitches in, in the bag, yeah. and you have to pick which one you think is the baddest. You they're they're all bad. A, pick two at a time, Amber. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Dig deep. Like we had Kevin Hart do comedians. 
All right. Uh, Nicki Minaj and Nia Long. <laughs> Ooh. That's a good one. Um, I think they're equally as beautiful, so I pick both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm not going to be very good at this game. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> if she does that again, we're gonna, if she does yeah. that again, we're going to trash the she game. Don't say, <laughs> nothing. Don't say nothing to her. Don't. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. So like, Come on, you guys can't do that. But that's not saying one person is better than the other. Nah, you can't do that to me, man. These are my peers. Yeah, that's not what it's saying. You should have put guys. That would have been more interesting. It is bitches out there that are guys. (laughs) Yeah, so I don't know why we... We we didn't learn from Oh, y'all dead wrong for this. I'm not doing it. It's over. What'd you pick? Rihanna and Beyonce. (laughs) Yikes! Yes, the game works. That's... (laughs) Yo, how'd you pick what that? are the chances I would that? get that? Said, look at all the names in the bag, and you <laughs> picked those two. Jesus Christ. Sway, so, it was great talking to you, man. <laughs> yeah, Amber. Yeah, Amber. Really great. Hey, listen. I can't tell you how happy I am for you. Thank you. Continue success and, Thank keep, you. and keep empowering those who, who listen, who, who, who are within the range of your reach. Thank Keep you so much. It. And come over, man. We'll have uh, a barbecue. I get back on the 24th. So Okay. Well, see, I was going by your house, and I was going to go ring the bell and surprise you. <laughs> but I said, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But well, I will do that when now I come back that to Now that I know, home. I won't be, like, freaked out okay. that somebody is yeah, at the door. Yeah, but that's a pretty good neighbor. I've been there since the 90s. So Really? Yeah, I was first in that neighborhood. I, love, I love it over there. It's and I beautiful. love the convenience of, like, all the stores. Yeah. So you kind of feel like you're in the city, but then you're not. You're, yeah. like, tucked off. Yeah, the Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's yeah. my joint. That's my joint. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, Amber Rose. <laughs> All right, congratulations again. Thank you again. so much. Okay? Thanks, you guys. All right, we're going to come back with Movie Junkies and Celebrity Wire. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shea 45. <laughs> 